Now, Noah, he knew about animals. Noah built an ark and there was a flood. They say that God told him to build an ark. But I don't know, I think a number of us in this room, if it was raining and there was a huge flood about to happen, I think a number of us would have said, fuck it, I'm building a boat. <laughs> you know, he built a boat. And it's not, it wasn't an ark, it was a boat. An ark, it always looks silly, because it's a big U-shape with a little shed on the top. And out of that, there's a lion and tiger doing this. <laughs> And uh, obviously, you never see any of the compartments or anything that went on or who, where the toilets were. <laughs> so he made a boat. He made a boat. What did he put in the boat? His family. What else? All the animals he could find. Did he put two of every animal in the world on the boat? No. <laughs> How can I be so sure? Try it. I'm happy to be proved wrong on this. I just need Discovery Channel to say, and today we're gonna do two of everything on this bird. Let's have a look. <laughs> and then let's visit the toilets later. <laughs> it will be a nightmare. Everything had to be on the boat, from two dung beetles to two giant squid and everything in between. All the fish, they never get mentioned. It was supposed to kill two, you know, kill all the bad things and start a game with two of everything, including the fish. I mean, it's bad sharks, sharks are bad. Very few good sharks. A few sharks going, we found a child. <laughs> he was thrashing around in that area of danger zone, you see. We thought we'd bring him in, yes. Well, it's a new thing we're doing. We're trying to, I'm in public relations, yes. I'm Sharky the Friendly Shark. Sharky the Friendly Shark. You've seen my program, maybe. No, he only had one leg to begin with, so I don't know what that is. <laughs> that ark would be a nightmare. Two of everything on the boat, giant squid sticking out of cupboards going, is she there? <laughs> is Mrs. Noah there? There's no towels. <laughs> Can't find any towels. And, I mean, minibar doesn't work. It's not stocked. Some sort of non-stocking thing. Well, it's got socks in there, I don't know. Oh, for fuck's sake. Giant squid diary, day one, long time ago. Dear TripAdvisor, <laughs> got to the ark, everything rather damp, a little disappointing. <laughs> Seen two cats, two dogs, two squirrels, two mice, two chipmunks. Eat them later as hors d'oeuvres. <laughs> Must Wikipedia what that means. <laughs> Just the etymology. Seem to be running out of ink. <laughs> then there's the two by two thing. That doesn't work. All right, there's Noah and his sons. All right, Shem, Ham, Japheth. Here we go. They come two by two. Two lions, two tigers, two cats, two dogs, two squirrels, two mice, two llamas, two unicorns, two zebras, two chipmunks, two of those things. Um, how many is that so far? Uh, so far, two lions, two tigers, Dad. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> it wouldn't work, would it? Lions and tigers, we eat everything. It's like putting four students on a boat with a load of cake mix. <laughs> Do you remember cake mix? You made it as a kid, the first time you made it, and you made it, and you put the stuff in, and you didn't put the stuff in. And now your mum probably put the stuff in, and you did all this stuff, and then it was poured out, and then they said you could lick the spoon, and you went, Oh, my God, you're amazing. Is this heaven? Did God, is it? <laughs> and there's a whole plate of it, and then it was put into the fire, and it came out less good than it went in. <laughs> it was genius when it went in, and it came out. Ew. The whole ark story doesn't make sense. And when, after 40 days and 40 nights of rain, which is only 40 days of rain, isn't it? 40 days and 40 nights. The nights are implicit, aren't they? It's all built in. I mean, you know, when you go to a hotel, you say, I'm stay for three days. Will you stay for the night? <laughs> After a month and a bit of rain, they'd be there from the Bible. We're here from the Bible. It's the day when the ark, the ark is just coming into view. 40 days, 40 nights of rain. Wonderful welcome the audience from around the world here on BBC World Service. And uh, <laughs> wonder if we're going to have a word with Noah and his wife. And here he comes. Uh, Mr. No, could you just could you just tell me? <laughs> could you just, I, 
I don't, sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I don't seem to be able to stop him there. He's a, obviously some sort of reception he has to go to. And the lions and the tigers come here. Lady, maybe, lads, how was it? How was it on the... <laughs> I can't seem to stop the lions and the tigers either. Obviously, maybe going to the toilet or something. Um, not sure what all that's about. So we'll wait for one of the other animals. A lot of, I can see on the top deck what looks like strawberry jam. A lot of strawberry jam. <laughs> so they obviously had a lot of sandwiches. And here's a squirrel, Mr. Squirrel, Mr. Squirrel. Could you tell, could you tell me how, how, how it was on, on the ark? <laughs> it was a nightmare, man. <laughs> it was the biggest nightmare. Those stripy bastards, they killed everyone, man. They're all dead, they're all dead. There's no one there. Oh my God, I hid in a biscuit tin, man. It was fucking insane. <laughs> Were they chocolate hobnobs? I don't fucking know. What the hell are you on about, you biscuit freak? Well, what happened to your wife? Where's your other boat? She got away, man, on a boat with an owl and a pussy cat. <laughs> Did they take some money and plenty of honey? I don't know, I didn't see. I think I took a Gatling gun, some soap and a razor and some chain mail. And and some iodine. <laughs> That's not very poetic. It wasn't poetry, man. They were fucking escaping from the man. Who are you? This is the BBC Word Service. Broadcasting from some fucking where. Well.